Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy at Linux on YouTube and I am coming to you by way of my BSPWM uh, build today. Same machine, just a different uh, window manager. I am I, I got to uh, fix some stuff before we go any further. Um, when last in the last video we did a, a Debian server uh, build for uh, either Plex or Jellyfin or both. Um, the one thing that I did not do um, was do the right file permission. So what I let's do that right now. So I'm going to open up a terminal and let's go ahead and clear the screen. And so we're going to SSH into our server, which is called Bellagio. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clear. Now, if you you know, if you recall last time, we uh, set up mounting for a USB drive. So now, when we go to uh, LS, uh, this USB drive, or sorry, this USB directory, is the uh, is the drive that we're going to be pulling our media off of. So, um, what we need to do is uh, be able to read and write. Uh, in that drive uh, and especially in the folders that we set up. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Um, we set up chmod-r0777 and then um, <coughs> excuse me home drew USB. So home user USB which is like I said the uh, mounted USB drive and we hit enter and we're good. Now let's go ahead into the USB and so we have, like I said, uh, two uh, directories, one called movies and the other one called TV shows. Okay. Now what I'm going to do off camera is move a couple, three movies and maybe a season of television shows over just so that you, we have content. Okay. And we'll be back in a sec. Okay, let's. Um, we got some content now, and we need to go to a different workspace and open up the browser. And I did a click there. And so let's just start off with uh, Jellyfin because it's new to me. So this will be a little bit interesting. I've never set up a Jellyfin uh, server before. So let's go and look at this. So I'm going to hit next. And. Um, I'm gonna just gonna I don't know what that is, but let's just put in a <coughs> excuse me a password and then say next. Nope. And oh, I guess you know what I did this, but then I had a failure. So okay, so I'm gonna do click on this. Uh, let me let me just let's just remove this real quick. Okay, that way we'll all start from the same spot. So now when I hit um, add media library, I'm gonna use movies and the folder is going to be um, home, Drew, USB, movies. Okay, and hit okay. And let's see what else. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna use English here like that. Country is United States. Um, real time monitoring. This all looks like it's fine. And I might want to do this right here. Um, chapter image extraction. That might be good. And let's just hit OK. And let's add another. And let's call this shows. And then uh, we're going to add the folder. Same thing, except this time home, Drew, uh, USB, and TV shows. And then OK. And same thing, English. United States, um, everything looks fine, and same thing here, and then okay. 
and let's go next okay same thing and ooh um huh well i'm going to say i'm going to i'm going to click that off um yeah I'm not going to, I don't think I'll do that for right now. And maybe we'll do another video showing remote stuff, but uh, I don't think we need to do that. And then let's finish. Okay. Now, we're gonna, I guess we're going to log back in. Again, this is all new to me, so. Um, and sign in. Save. Oh, okay. Well, look at that. Okay, so going to movies. We've got stuff here. Oh, I don't want to play. I just want to look, click on that, and you'll see it scraped all this information. And uh, this is seasons one and two. Nice. And it's got, oh wow, this is great. Okay, this works perfectly. Um, now, let me hit the hamburger. And is there a way to do settings? And then, hmm, I'm gonna pause. Okay, so uh, like I said, I'm not used to this. So if I go to dashboard here, I can uh, pick up live TV. Okay, and I'm wondering if uh, it'll detect my, uh... oh, there it is. Okay, uh, why is there two? Because there's two tuners on it maybe. And let's save. And then, oh wow, it automatically picked up stuff from the, where it says refresh guide. Um, or do I have to add something? Well, let's just see. I go to live. If I go to home, rather. Oh, live television. Sorry guys, maybe I should be more prepared, right? All right, let me let me pause for a sec. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm actually, let me go back to home and then I'm gonna go to um, dashboard. And back to live TV. Now, if I wanted to, now, so I have not done this. Um, you would have to set up an XML TV, which is a part of the Debian packages I'm not well versed on this. Um, I might actually opt for it, which seemingly is easier, is just to pay somebody $35 a year to have your um, your uh, guides kind of come in streaming. And I have a seven, it, it, I mean, I don't have, but because I didn't sign up for it, but there is a seven day um, free trial. So if you wanted to try this, you could. Um, in order to just get it working, all you really need to do is go to home, go to live television, just to see that it does work, and go to the channels. And all of these channels will work. I mean, let's go, actually there's a bunch of channels here. I'm just gonna pick this one and see if the over-the-air television works. It probably will. Oh, there you go. There's a... Uh, Wi Fi Bo, awesome. Anyway, um, let me go back and, uh, and back to the home. So, basically, what we have is this working pretty well, actually. And I kind of like the fact that it's um, that it doesn't have a lot of kind of like stuff added. And, and you'll get the idea when I, when I actually uh, build the um, Plex, it's kind of overkill. 
So let's take a look at Plex. Okay, so I lied just a little bit. Um, I started to do the Plex settings and everything, and it looked like there was just way too much kind of security issues with my account and who I was sharing with. And I have a brother-in-law that we, uh, we have servers that are kind of connected. So I, I have just kind of made the decision to, to just not do that. And I will say this, I mean, you have the tools to do everything um, because it's not that different than Jellyfin. There are some differences, clearly. Um, but, you know, we'd already installed Plex Media Server, so you know how to do that. And you probably, and you know how to get to the, um, the IP address and the web which would be this particular um, starting point for your um, setup. Now, let me, let me just talk a little bit about Plex versus Jellyfin for a second, okay? As I've said before, I have a lifetime uh, subscription to Plex, and I have a lot of time and effort, and not so much money, but definitely effort invested and like I said, I share with, uh, I have managed guests that include my mother and my, my son and, and my mother-in-law. And I, like I said, I share a server with my, my brother-in-law. And there's just a lot that would need to be changed in order for me to switch to uh, Jellyfin. If I had none of those things, if I was starting from scratch, I 100% uh, use Jellyfin. The reason why, obviously, open source. Uh, it is active as far as how pe how it is improving, and I would uh, I, I really like how simplistic. Now, simple to me is a big time plus, and so I think that um, they're on the right track. And if you have if you have the need. And you've you followed along, and you know how to do a dedicated uh, Debian server for media. Uh, this is a great uh, software for watching and and streaming, and you know even watching your your live television if you're using an over-the-air uh, antenna. Fantastic. So anyway. Thank you for your time, and sorry, I, did, I definitely didn't mean to be clickbaity about using Plex. There are plenty of vi uh, videos out there how to uh, configure Plex. Now, uh, thank you for your kind comments and for subscribing and your viewership, and I'll see you soon.